welcome this is video number 248 uh, lecture number eight and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, demand forecasting in a series of lectures uh, on managerial economics uh, let me start with the definition of uh, demand forecasting what is demand forecasting demand forecasting is the process of making estimation about future customer demand over a defined period using historical data and other information Proper demand forecasting gives business valuable information about their potential and their current market and other markets so that managers can make informed decisions about pricing, business growth strategies and market potential. Without forecasting, business risk making poor decisions about their products and uh, target markets. Why is demand forecasting important? Sales forecasting helps with business planning, budgeting and goal setting. Once you have a good understanding of what your future sales could look like, you can begin to develop an informed procurement strategy to make sure your supply matches customer demand. It allows businesses to more effectively optimize inventory, increase inventory turnover rates and reduce uh, holding costs. It also provides an insight into upcoming crash flow, meaning business can more accurately be uh, can budget to pay supplies, uh, suppliers and other operational cost and investment in the growth of business. Anticipated demand means knowing when to increase staff and other resources to keep operations running smoothly during peak periods. Uh, types of forecasting models. Uh, we have qualitative or technological methods in which forecasts are generated subjectively by forecaster and then we have quantitative methods in which forecasts are generated through uh, mathematical or econometric modeling. Here are the examples of uh, qualitative methods. We have th three types, executive opinion, market research, Delphi method, their characteristic strengths and weaknesses are given here. Uh, statistical forecasting uh, are given here and uh, the most important ones are time series models which assumes that, that the future will follow same pattern as the past. And then there are causal methods. Uh, composition of time series data. Data basically, time series data basically follow historic pattern plus random variation. Historic pattern may include uh, level which is a long term average or uh, long term trend, uh, seasonal variation or cyclical variation or irregular pattern. Uh, here are some time series patterns. Uh, A shows level or horizontal pattern. B shows a long term trend. A C shows seasonal pattern and uh, D shows cyclical uh, variation or business cycle. Uh, methods of forecasting the level. There are some naive forecasting, simple mean, moving average, weighted moving average and exponential smoothing. Uh, here are some questions. Uh, de determine a forecast for periods uh, 11 and use these methods. Time chart of orders data. So here is the naive forecasting. Next period forecast is equal to the last period's actual, that is FTA forecast for uh, the next period is equal to the actual uh, in time t. And this is the simple average if you take the average of all the historical data. And uh, this is the moving average. The next period's forecast is equal to simple average of the last n periods. A smaller n makes the forecast more responsive, a larger n makes the forecast more stable. This is the weighted average, weighted moving average, and if FT plus 1 is equal to C1, AT plus C2, AT minus 1 plus up to CN, AT minus N plus 1, where C1 plus C2 up to CN is equal to 1. And this is exponential smoothing formula, where alpha is either equal to or less or greater than 0, and it is less than or equal to 1. So it ranges between 0 and 1. The effect of the parameter alpha. A smaller alpha makes the forecast more stable. A larger alpha makes the forecast more responsive. These are some uh, time series problem solutions in which you see uh, period, then orders, actual, then naive forecast, simple average, simple moving average, three periods, simple moving average, five period, then weighted moving average, three, three periods, then uh, exponential smoothing. Uh, alpha is equal to 0 0.2 and exponential smoothing with the alpha equals 0 0.5 and you see the forecast uh, in the last row for the 11th uh, time period. 
forecast accuracy forecasts are really rarely perfect they need to know how much we should rely on our chosen forecasting method and then measuring forecasting errors that is the difference between the actual and the forecast note that over forecast is equal to negative errors and under forecast is equal to positive errors these are tracking forecast error over time mean absolute deviation mean square error and uh, tracking signal uh, these are some other methods forecasting trends trend adjusted exponential smoothing three step process smooth the level of the series smooth the trend and calculate the forecast including trend so fit uh, plus 1 fit with sub t plus 1 is equal to st plus tt where s is, where s is the smooth the level of the series and uh, t is the smooth the trend uh, for cutting for forecasting trend problem the company uses exponential smoothing with trend to forecast usage of its uh, lawn care products at the end of july the company wishes to forecast sales for august july demand was 62 the trend through june has been 15 additional gallons of product sold per month average sales have been 57 gallons per month the company uses alpha plus 0.2 and beta plus 0.10 forecast for the august and uh, then it is equal to uh, 84.8 gallons adjusting for seasonality calculate the average demand per season for example average quarterly demand calculate a seasonal index for each season of the year divide the actual demand of each season by the average demand per season for that year average the index by the season uh, adjusting for seasonality forecast demand for the next year and divide by the number of the season then multiply next year's average seasonal demand by each average seasonal index Uh, seasonality problem solution you can uh, see in this table then there are some causal methods of leading indicators hint can help predict changes in the demand causal models build on these cause and effect relationships a common tool of causal modeling is a linear regression where y is equal to a plus bx uh, where a is the intercept or constant b is the slope or the rate of change of y with respect to one unit change in x Uh, this is a linear regression here uh, there is the formula for the b or the slope and uh, there is the formula for the intercept and we this is the regression equation line linear regression equation line so these are the actual observation and uh, these are the uh, estimated or the predicted um, values of the dependent variable and the, here it is uh, how we can calculate this a and b the method is uh, has been told here and uh, you can uh, put these values in the formula and you can get that b is equal to 3.58 and a is equal to minus 36.20 how good is the fit it depends upon the um, coefficient of determination and that is equal to 0.788 it means that about 88% of the variation in the dependent variable is explained by the independent variable in the model r is the coefficient of correlation factors for selecting a forecast model the, the amount and type of available data degree of accuracy required length of forecast horizon pres presence of the data pattern ladies and uh, gentlemen uh, this uh, presentation uh, is about uh, demand forecasting its importance why do we need that what is the meaning of demand forecasting and uh, what are the various methods qualitative and quantitative and how can we predict future values of uh, demand uh, so this is a uh, uh, in, in 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 the last uh, few videos i discussed demand theory and then we discussed uh, the estimation of the demand and in this one uh, we discussed demand forecasting so forecasting is basically done for the future I hope this was quite informative for you. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, kindly click on this red button, and don't and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can um, get notification about my other videos that I'll upload for you. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, you can share with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get benefit of, 
out of that and uh, i'll see you in another video soon thank you